Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Ben and I'm a runner who is a running coach who specializes in mobility, strength and conditioning, plant-based nutrition, stress management and epigenetic profiling. And my philosophy is if you're healthy, you will perform well. If you're unhealthy, you will underperform. So instead of thinking about the training, think about what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to help improve not only your long-term health, but long-term performance. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a example of why I'm doing certain things to help optimize my health and performance. And this is where I look at the epigenetics and this is where I'm qualified in. So if you're not used to hearing what the term epigenetics is, it just means how your genes express in different environments. And from this, this allows you to kind of ignore all the noise around fitness because there are so many things we're getting told pretty much on a daily basis train this way, you know, lift heavy weights or eat higher fats, eat lower carbs. It gets to the point, it gets quite paralyzing knowing what to do. And if anything, we just get overwhelmed and then can end up doing something which could be in the best of intentions, but is actually harming us instead of helping us. So having this is gonna allow you to kind of ignore that noise and focus on what you need to do to help improve yourself. Getting your DNA tested is a very popular thing nowadays, and it should be, you know, it allows you to understand or just know a little bit more about yourself. However, the issue with it is it's just literally a blueprint of your body. So what I mean by that is it can tell you if you've got dark eyes, light eyes, it's just a bunch of codes, and it doesn't tell you how to optimize yourself. I might say you've got a gene that means that you have a higher likelihood of suffering from a certain illness. I might say that you have skinny legs. It doesn't really help you determine what you need to be doing to help improve your health and performance. And this is what the PH360 profile, that's the profile I work with, looks at. And this is where it looks at something called your phenotype. So if you think of your DNA being your genotype, that is the blueprint, the phenotype is like your instruction manual. And that's really important to know because if we know what we need to do to help optimize your body, it's gonna improve health and performance at the same time. And the really interesting part of DNA is from the moment you're born to the moment you die, your DNA is exactly the same. However, the needs are different from when you're first born to when you're 70 years of age. And that's why we need to understand the importance of the environment that you're putting in to help improve yourself. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I won't try, I'm trying not to go into too much science, but I love this stuff. This is my passion. And the aim is I want to show you my profile and what I've been doing to help improve my performance and my health for my race coming up. Right guys, so here we go. This is a very brief overview of the profile. I've done so many kind of takes of doing this and it's near impossible to fit all the information in. So I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. So my profile comes out as someone as a nectomorph. Now a nectomorph is someone who is, tends to be a lot leaner than the other body types. And if you look at runners, pretty much at the starting line of any major race, they are full of ectomorphs. So people who tend to be uh, very lean, don't have much muscle on them, tendons and ligaments tend to be quite stiff so it helps to actually propel them when they're running so that's why another reason why we're good at running um, and it's just built for more endurance based activities we are home the main hormone that a ectomorph will tend to display is dopamine now dopamine is such a powerful hormone that is kind of feeling like you're completing something so when you're on your purpose and your passion you'll find that you will just ignore all the rest of the noise by a very single track and if you look at runners, especially when they're running during the race, they tend to run through the race and then the moment that dopamine hit kind of disappears, that's when they start falling apart and that's usually at the end of the race. So it is a very, very powerful hormone and it can actually suppress pain, but the issue with that is we can come back and bite us in the bum. So every hormone has its benefit and also negative side as well. Um, other things about Nectomorph is when it comes to um, our body type are very neural, so we tend to think and analyze and love data. And that's why Strava and monitoring your training is going to be really easy. So I'm just going to kind of go through just a brief through of this brief kind of plan of what I'm going to talk about here. Um, but just know there's a lot more information in the background. So first thing it's saying is if I can calm my mind, mind down, 
um, that would be the best thing I can do because the more the more I'm relaxed, the more focused I am, and the more focused I am, the more I can complete my tasks. Um, and it's saying writing things down is really important. So monitor your training, especially from a running perspective. So I'm gonna make it from a running perspective. Uh, also have a plan. So whenever it comes to training, if you've got a structured plan that will help to ease your mind and, and having structure without your day, throughout your day is gonna allow you to feel more calm and relaxed. Uh, and if you can do that, it's gonna allow you to have better sleep at nighttime, which is gonna allow you to recover. And that's the key. If you can recover well, you can perform well. Um, so yeah, it's all about kind of setting a regular rhythm. And if you can, that will obviously calm you down, which is really important. Uh, brain needs to be put and as I said, because of your dopamine do dominance, your brain is going to constantly search for higher, better, faster, more productive results. So just making sure that you do actually allow yourself to have a bit of downtime um, and invest your mental energy is really important. Uh, and obviously gathering data really good because you can see what things have gone well and what things you need to improve. Uh, when it comes to your body, movement is like mental rest. It's like a form of meditation. That's why running is so good. Um, it needs to move with a combination of endurance and flexibility. Um, however, this is the important part. Not good for lifting heavy weights. Deadlifts terrible for this biotype. Lifting heavy squats puts too much pressure on the spine and it takes the body too long to recover, which is gonna end up overloading the body and causing injuries. So you see all them strength coaches saying that you should be lifting heavy weights. I strongly disagree if you are this biotype. Um, it also says gather Gathering data, really important, but making sure you're increasing flexibility of the spine, vital. So the spine is very tight, and if your spine's tight, your hamstrings are tight, your calves are tight, the bottom of your feet are tight, your neck can be tight. So releasing that spine is gonna be the key for you feeling good, and also making sure that you have good posture for running, which is gonna allow you to breathe better. Um, when it comes into um, your food, carbohydrates, best friend. Eating more carbs is the better. We are carb based and that's because one, it is really easy for the body to absorb carbohydrates. Our brain is working at 100 miles an hour pretty much all day long. So it allows to fuel the brain. It's not too stressful on the gut as well. So eating higher proteins and fats will slow the digestion down and can cause digestive issues as well. So just making sure you're careful on that. So when it comes to carbs, that's fruits, vegetables, grains, best friend, get as many as you can in. Be careful of gluten though, because gluten does have, um, it's quite hard to digest. So just be careful and cooking foods like barbecue foods wouldn't recommend for this biotype. Um, as you can see here, moderate and uh, regular protein is important. Make sure it's cooked very well. So slow cooked foods are really good. So curries, um, oats, everything that's been slow cooked is gonna be more beneficial and you absorb the nutrients a lot easier and lots of vegetables. Be careful though, don't eat too much because if you eat too much, you get brain fog and if you eat too many carbohydrates at lunch, that might make you feel a bit sluggish. Uh, and as you can see here, the high, the orange line is the need for carbohydrates. It's super high all day. And then there's protein and vegetables below that. And it's just saying, for example, porridge is the perfect thing to have with chia seeds and some berries, so antioxidants and omega-3s, which helps support brain health. Uh, we tend to be early risers. So that's really good when it comes to running. So we can get up and go for a run. We don't need coffee first thing in the morning. And if you do have coffee and you are an ectomorphic frame, the likelihood is your hormonal balance is not the way it should be. That's just a simple way of putting it. So um, getting up and moving is really important. Release the spine and then go for a run. And as you can see on my other videos, I love to do a movement routine before I go for a run. I like to warm up and activate the muscles and then I'll get outside. If you can do that, you're gonna increase performance and you're actually speeding up recovery by doing that as well. Uh, um, and from here, when it comes into general exercises, endurance and high intensity is great. And it's saying moderate heavy weights. So don't go super heavy. I tend to go body weight or you know a little bit of weight here and there, and that tends to be off season. And I've explained why in other videos, it's just too taxing on the body. I just can't run if I'm lifting heavy weights all the time. Making sure I'm doing spinal stretches a lot is, is key. So I'll do that at least pretty much every day, but I aim to do two yoga sessions, three yoga sessions a week. Um, uh, and you'll find that doing resistance training mixed with yoga is probably the best thing to do. So gymnastic work, body weight training, vital. You can see here, we are designed for running, biking, swimming, triathlon, rowing. 
So it, it, we're just naturally more inclined to do these sports because it naturally comes to us and we'll be really good at them as well. Uh, and when it comes to the strength training, as I mentioned before, be careful of your back, moderate weight traits with minimal rest in between. So best off doing kind of small interval training. So lifting not as heavy, but giving yourself a short rest and repeating it for a number of rounds, you'll find it'll be better for you. But do not do heavy squats. If you're doing heavy squats and heavy deadlifts, you are ruining your back. I'd rather look at more mobility exercises, so Jefferson kills and things like that, which is going to help improve the strength and the flexibility of the spine instead of doing big, strong compound lifts. Um, as I mentioned, flexibility sessions, critical. Make sure you get your spine twisting as much as you can, flex and extension. So cat cows, um, downward dogs, as much as you can to release that area. The healthier you are will depend on your spine. You're as old as your spine, so if your spine's crooked, then the likelihood is it's gonna infect your running performance as well. So making sure that you are nice and upright is gonna improve your body's ability to breathe as well. So very brief overview of the program. As I say, I've got about 40 more pages of data, but I just don't wanna go through it. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes, so you stay with me. Um, but that is kind of base of the information. And as I say, if you can get the right environment for you, then that helps to improve your performance and your overall health, which is what we want. So that's kind of towards the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions or if it sounds like this is something that you want to do, please get in touch. I am more than happy to start using this for clients. I'm already am and so many of them are getting personal bests. It is actually quite shocking. Um, it's just like, it's like, this is the secret you know secret bullet that we've been waiting for for so long it just tells us what to do all we need to do is follow it so any questions let me know if you want to reach out to me personally my contact details are in the description but i think that'll be it and my next video is going to be a mobility follow along so you can watch that obviously after seeing this you see how important movement is um but until then look after yourselves remember you've got to move to improve and take care